would just really like to know when you were writing this, are you proud? Are you proud? Are you proud? Oh. Now let's say you don't say what's your price. Uh huh. Just to back it up, you can hold my eyes. Uh. Uh. Now let's say you don't say what's your price. What's up, guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time joining us, welcome 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 to it i really do hope that you stay you subscribe and you come apart the secret family as i'm sure you guys can tell by the title of today's video today we're going to be reacting to some of your guys' confessions i say reacting but some of y'all i was gonna giving y'all some advice because some of those confessions were a little bit and when i say a little bit i mean a lot of it scary okay and while i am reacting to your guys' confessions we will be doing a get ready with me as you guys see by the title it is in collaboration with wow african hair thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video we appreciate it you're keeping the lights on we love to see it as you can see i'm rocking the 20 inch kinky straight hair you guys will see how i start the hair how i install the hair Honestly, I'm obsessed with this hair. It's beautiful. And if you guys like any more information, please don't forget to check out my description box down below. And without saying too much, <laughs> don't forget, oh my goodness, oh wow, do not forget to like, comment, and of course, where? Subscribe to my channel. And now we can get straight into today's video. Okay, guys, let's get straight into today's video. As I already mentioned, today we are going to be working with wow african hair i have actually worked with them before last time we did a body wave today we are going to be doing kinky straight i actually haven't tried the kinky straight texture before so i am super excited to get into it um today we are going to be trying the kinky straight 20 inches we have an hd frontal as per usual i literally i'm loving hd frontals guys they melt into your head so seamlessly i love to see it so the hair did come in this little duffel bag i love when companies give you these duffel bags because obviously you can reuse them and use them to carry around your wigs which is super convenient then in the box you also do get some wig caps then you get a comb these are literally my favorite combs ever and you guys probably think like sweetie this is just a right tail comb but believe and trust and put your faith in me that these combs are superior hair companies that give these combs shout out to you guys and then they also did give me a fly away and frizz tamer this is super exciting i haven't um got one of these in a, a package before so i really really love that I have tried it before, but I haven't gotten my own. So thank you so much for African for that. Then you also do get just a little pamphlet from Wild well African where you get, I think this is a form for if you're trying to return it. So that's also really nice. Customer services up as we can see. So yeah, guys, that is what we're doing today. As per usual, I'm going to start by installing the hair while you guys watch a little montage and listen to some dope ass music before we get into your I'm 
feels so soft I've really never tried this texture before and baby, it's giving. I remember like watching a bunch of my favorite YouTubers and people be like, Kinky Shred is their favorite texture. And I'm like, really? Does it really give that much? And people are saying like, if you have tools that are hot enough, it's going to look hot. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see how this is going to turn. Ah. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but you can literally see the kinks in the hair. Love to see. Let me actually apply some heat protecting serum. I'm putting it on my hands. I know that's a little bit unconventional but i just don't want it to get like everywhere i feel like i want to spread it out i don't want my head to be like have too too much product in it but yeah you guys when i asked you guys to send me a confession to like hey, Bozama, you said you're not doing this anymore and just to clarify i did not say i'm not doing confessions anymore what i say is that i'm not going to be doing q and a's anymore as in questions about my personal life I'm not going to be answering those and even so i said like oh, maybe i'll change my mind in the next five years as for right now i'm not answering questions about my personal life guys so don't get the story twisted we are still doing confessions personally i'm going to get because i love indala zamand indala zamand is zimnandi and as a result i will not be stopping thank you so much management <laughs> first confession let's go so I love my boyfriend so much, Ne, but I keep on hearing rumors about him. Mm. She carries on to say about him cheating, see. But at the same time, the girl that tells me these rumors, she's obsessed with my man. So it's like, who do I believe? Him or this girl I don't know? So I'm indecisive on whether to stay with him or to ghost him. Bear in mind, what am I bearing in mind? Bear in mind, I've been with him since last year, March, and my heart wants him. Hey, guys, one thing about the heart is gonna want a man. Oh, and I'm 21. Hopefully that will help. Okay. You know what? We're starting it off. This one is, is, it's, it's tricky, but it's really not. Okay. My take is one. How do you know that this woman is obsessed with him? Like what makes you think she's obsessed with him? Because maybe that's a girl he's had a thing with in the past. That's always where my mind goes first. Like when I see girls acting weird, I'm always like, what did you do to make her act weird? Or why is she so obsessed with you? To be honest, I feel like here you just have to go with your gut because I can't tell you that he's lying. I can't tell you that she's lying. Specifically, if you're saying she's obsessed with him as you see it from your, perspe from your perspective. So, yeah, I don't know who you should even believe, chat. Because the other thing with men, no men lie, guys. And Funogungasho, they love to lie. So, nine times out of ten, those rumors are true. Even though the girl might be obsessed with him. The rumors are probably true. She's probably just telling you so you can get with your man. So I don't know what you're going to do with that information, but do something with it, chat. Yeah. <laughs> and you think 21 has nine to do with it. One thing about Dinto. They'll rock you at any age, guess so. 21, 24, 30, 35, 40, 45, 60, 85, 100. This next one says, it's been a year and I still miss my ex. You know what it does say missing ex in Joya Bantu. So Susdenga. Sometimes miss your ex. It's valid. Your feelings are valid. Now I hear you. Valid. 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 This next one says I fell in love with my friend of seven years and I got drunk and blurted it out. I don't know where to go from here. Show me. Just say you didn't know what you were saying and it's lies. That's if you're not ready to confess your love for them because let me tell you for free um, when you're going to tell your friend that you really like them you must understand that the dynamic of that friendship is about to change so honestly if you don't want your friend I don't know if it is um, a guy or a girl but you can just be like listen babes I don't know what I was talking about it was lies I don't really like you like that i like you but not like that um i'm hoping that it wasn't too like something you can backpedal on but if you can't honestly um just talk about it with your friend and be like listen dude jack tanda or listen babes jack tanda so winning what say you what say you are we pushing are we not what do you say what do you say say something i'm giving up on you <laughs> this one says and you full so that we 
in brackets ladies hide and cheater better than i'm a man kind i cheated and acted like a pringle that i am gave him the taste of his own medicine i mean to be honest the first statement is very accurate i must say men are nine times out of ten sloppier than women and then that second part about giving him the taste of his own medicine does it it's valid because he started wabukala and so you just retaliated valid 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 although i feel like why don't you just leave the relationship because if you guys are just gonna keep cheating on each other that thing is not safe tell you that for free it's not safe and yes you are doing revenge 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 on him but i'll tell you for free that stuff gets old and at the end you start resenting each other because it's like all we're gonna do in this relationship is cheat relationship is cheat on each other so like what are we actually staying here for i just don't see the point of that stuff like i get it if you do it once and then end the relationship but if you're gonna stay with him like do you actually feel better after you cheat when you cheat back actually guys let me know in the comments like does cheating back help? Like, are you able to actually move on with the relationship? Because I can't imagine how. I really cannot. Like, after I cheat back and then what? Then we just keep cheating on each other. Like, nah. Guys, the hair. Yeah, niggas. I'm from Ugungasho. It's giving. And it looks a lot more natural. It's giving very natural hair via the texture. But obviously it's not natural hair since it's 20 inches. And one thing about my natural hair, I saw it. I mean, you 20 inches. <laughs> Tell you that for free. The next one says, I found the love of my life, but Ho lives inside me. <laughs> you know what? I respect that and I love the self-awareness for me. I would just love to know though, how do you know is the love of your life? Are you guys dating? Have you been hoeing on him the whole time? Like, I think I need a little bit more context here, babes. But honestly, for me, I am also a strong believer though in the fact that if you found the love of your life and does it leave the streets, there's nothing left in the streets i get it how is life from nandy whatever but sweetie tell you for free go be with the love of your life streets is finito okay streets have been done for a while now for a very long time now the next one says uh, i borrowed my bite 800 that is part of my tuition fees i would just really like to know when you were writing this are you proud 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 of your work because 800 czar from you to i think it's the fault for your tuition fees and the fact that he's a bite guys being a bite in 2021 is too bad you bites are living soft because I'm in a picture I'm just an anti send a fight eight hundred. Eight hundred and ten me. Eight hundred your team. I don't get it. But you know what? If you guys are like friends or something, I guess send him money. Not me though. Never could be me. Never gonna be me. Okay? But um no nina mali guys. More than anything else, and you can say langa is gone. Because ni tell mali is a scholar, no niggas and I'm a dot. Diano yik. I'm very scared. And, and for no gungash. one guy but then i started to see the ick in him get that he said something that made me angry and i had asked for a break cool shop during the break i had gone to my friend's place to vent about the situation long story short me and the friend best i would say what she said there and a week later me and the talking stage started speaking again i saw the ick in him again and decided to come clean he said he's willing to make it work girl that's him not gonna see a booty valid because valid and you came clean so i feel like you didn't actually i mean is it wrong to actually be doing itchy itchy nana with somebody else when you're in a talking stage i also would like us to unpack it unpack that in the comments i feel like it's only a problem if you guys have discussed being exclusive of which nah i don't think it's a thing in a talking stage exclusivity in a talking stage do you want to be my nigga 
or doing that. Because if we're in a talking stage, you're telling me I can't be seeing anyone else. We are the fool, but we're not at me. We're not at me because you don't want to commit to me, but you don't want me to see anyone else. What is that? What is that? At least you came clean about it. I'm gonna have to just assume that you guys had had the conversation about exclusivity because then why else did you even come clean to him? So yeah, I would say you made the right decision because realistically, I mean, you didn't even do something bad. Like, are you in confession? Because um, um, cousin, you told him about listen, this is the situation, and uh, you're giving me the egg, so I'm just begging. Valid and fair. I respect that. Man. <laughs> this one says, I don't really love the one who loves me. The tender law. Guys, if you don't understand that, she's basically saying, I don't like the guy that likes me. I like the one that's a little bit unsure. What's his deal? Tell you for free, it always, always <laughs> Let me not say it always. Most of the time, it do be like that. It do be like that. The one that you want, come back. Mm, why do you call show, man? Tell me oh, oh, in and out. You tell me, and then when it comes to the guy that literally you really are not dying for, he's the one who'll be so intentional about you. Why? Why, my daughter, he sends alone? Why can't she sense that you're not the one? Or why can't she, can't she sense that you are the one? Why don't you have those spidey senses? It really is starting to make me a little bit sick. But you know what, guys? Um, I saw this guy Kundoya Akim does and that doesn't mean you should settle for the guy that likes you. If he likes you and you don't like him, it's valid and it's fair and yeah, give that say. Leave everyone to be fair. Because even a guy that's not sure about you, mm, kind of is like niggy ick after a while. And it's just never good to be with a guy that's not sure about you. In fact, you need to be with a guy who's so sure about you, it even shocks you. Because you're like, damn, you're so sure about me. I'm sure about you, but like you're really sure about me. Exactly. That is the vibes we need, bitch, Nana. You don't need anyone who's unsure. So my advice there is bag it, bunk, bash it, bunk. Let's carry on with some of your confessions. The next one says, I broke up with my boyfriend and saw my ex the next day. Sweetie, I get you. I get you. Obviously, I mean, <laughs> guys, no, don't listen to me. I'm something so toxic. But there's nothing wrong with that. Like, what is wrong with that? I don't get what's wrong with that. You're not with him anymore, so what is the problem? This one said, I traveled to another province for eggplant, um, only for him to ignore his phone for six hours. What? <laughs> So fast forward to the next day, he doesn't offer me offer me breakfast. He literally said, Gishi Logati unga handi ipsuku. He bought himself bolts on. I had to steal a few because I was gonna starve. He takes every day like things are normal between us. You know one thing about men? I am Nangasama daughter and Funinje Ukungasho. He brought you from another province to make you eat biltong. I just I can't believe it. He literally brought you from another province to eat Bolta just for some rounds. But I say, I hope you've learned a very valuable lesson there. Only leave your province if you know you're going to a guy who's gonna do something. You can't even offer me a piece of bread. That is so disrespectful. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And what annoys me is like, I would understand if that's just a situation, but you literally fetched me from my piece. Like I was chilling and you said, baby, come through. Come and get this good, good. And then you can't even give me a sandwich personally guys Mbato is so important for me so mtu who can't pata you grand when you've gone to see them is a problem for me personally i choose not to participate <laughs> okay so this one says i'm really done bad i envy my best friend and it's killing me i'm praying about it though um i have to do i have to uh, do i have to talk to her about it because i really value our relationship and if i do how do I do it? Listen, child, I think envy is a bit of a hectic one. Like, I get being jealous every now and again, or just feeling like, oh, I so wish that was me, but it not be you. I'm glad you're praying about it because these things, Zikucha and so And honestly, I'm glad that you've acknowledged it and you've acknowledged that that is not a good feeling for you to be having. And so you are actively dealing with it. And I take from your self-awareness that it's not like you've acted on these feelings of jealousy or of envy. And it's not like you wish 
your friend badly because you do value your relationship and I get the sense that you love your friend I don't get the sense that you're a witch and you're just trying to pray for her downfall because you just envy her so much um I personally don't know if you should talk about it only if it's like only because you say it's something that you've acknowledged and that you're working on if it's affecting your friendship however like it's affecting the way that you guys communicate and interact with each other then i would say you should bring it up but just let her know i don't know how you're going to bring it up though in a way where it's not going to make her feel a way because i know for myself somebody comes to me and they're like hey tell me by the way the reason i haven't been talking to you is because i'm really jealous i don't know how i would take that but i feel like you know your friend and you know the relationship that you guys have but big ups to you for being so self-aware and acknowledging it as a bad as a bad thing to feel normal but not good do you get what i'm saying like it's a lot of people feel it but it doesn't make it a good thing so yeah i think keep praying about it keep dealing with it don't ever find yourself getting to the place where you start wishing bad things upon your friend don't find yourself being a witch and i genuinely believe that if you keep praying about it you will not even get there so Yo, guys we're done straightening wow this hair is really full as you can see that took us about five years i'm literally sweating Jobug is so hot damn damn wow african guys for me it's honestly look at this <laughs> let us finish up some of your assumptions while i wait for my hot comb to heat up this one says i'm a 20 year old i'm gonna put some serum in while we're talking through this one she says I'm a 20 year old and I'm dating a 40 year old married man ending young time. Hey! Guys, when you play silly games, you win silly prizes because we are full and don't you married men. So in love. What were you doing there? Because you wouldn't have known that you loved him had you not dated him. So that is your reward for dating a married man. Because I think you and I both know Uguti. At the end of the day, it only... Well, let me not say it only. Sometimes it does work out that the man leaves his wife. But let's be like five more than 95. Let's keep it to Virgil's. He literally is likely to not leave his wife. And then you're sitting there feeling in love. And feeling like you love him. Um, but there's nothing that'll come from it. So I'm just saying, hey, in future, bye, come on, never chat delay. Unless you're so close, you're bamba. Because wow, you're so bamba, and now you're in the puppy, you're in the dog, you're in the dog, and for what? And for what? Oh, I just think we should end off this confessions session with this one because you guys are so scary <laughs> and this one says i told my cousin to break up with her gent because he's toxic the catch is i'm dating him now she doesn't know sweetie repent kesan repent because what you're such a villain you're a criminal you're a criminal, no judgment, but like, I'm really judging you because she's gonna find out. So, sweetie, whether you tell her now, you tell her later. If it's a guy that you're in a serious relationship with, sweetheart, if nigga umka, poof, whether you are or not, if you have any sort of respect for your cousin, just tell her because she's going to find out. Whether you tell her or she finds out to someone else. One thing about the truth, yeah, puma, sweetie. And then, I see puma, it's strengths. Okay, it's gonna be 10 times worse than if you just told her. Um, to be honest with you, it's not gonna look pretty either way. Cause when they eat BS and Funungasho, it's the fact that you told her to break up with them. Cause it would have been one thing, still actually quickly as nuts, but not the same had they just broken up. For the fact that what you call you break up with your nigger. And then you said, bet, because Jamfuna, uh uh, guess I'm, you're a problem, bro. No, I won't lie, you're a problem. You're a problem. And personally, if it was my cousin, guess what? Mm -hmm. It ain't gonna cut that off. Alrighty, guys, we have made it to the end of today's video. Thank you so much to you guys for making it this far. Thank you so much to you guys for submitting your confessions. I always have a fun time 
reading them. Some of you guys are a little bit wild, but I honestly love to see that you guys feel open enough to share them. I really do appreciate that. Please, guys, do interact and engage on my Instagram if you guys would like to participate in the next video thank you so much to wow african for sponsoring this video please go ahead and check out my description box if you guys would like any more information on this hair and if you guys would like to purchase it as you guys can see mm -mm, mm -mm, it's too much it is too much and of course guys i will see you all in my next video i love you all so much bye Thank you.